This episode of Inside the UHL is brought to you by Bud Light. The difference is drinkability. All right, and we are back with Inside the UHL. And uh, we start, we continue this with uh, Pratt Dalvey. The guy went on vacation to India. Some say he was injured from last season, you know, having surgery or whatnot. And some people say he just needed time off. But anyways, the guy is back. Um, and he's looking to participate in UHL 10. Uh, the 10th game of our 15-game season. And we hope to see him because last year he had an amazing season. Falling into that uh, top 8 position, the bottom 4. And being eliminated in the quarterfinals. Um, but he has got to... Uh, he's got a lot of work ahead of him. Um, to get back into that top 8. It's going to be tough for him, but looking at the bottom eight, he uh, he has a valid opportunity to go deep in these playoffs. So, you know, <laughs> we know he hasn't even played a game, but it is time for him to step up and get right back into the show here. And then we move to one of our rookies, uh, Nat Kim. Uh, Nat's been playing good. He's been playing consistent. He's been playing decent, but he hasn't been rewarded yet. He has no points in the league so far and is in serious jeopardy of not making playoffs. With five games left, he has definitely, and I mean definitely, got to step up. He has a couple goals here and there, but he's got to continue to work on his defensive play and step up and become a, tr a pest, a troublemaker. And uh, hopefully he will be able to answer the bell. Let's also talk about uh, Greg Davio. Greg Davio came into this league as a goaltender, strictly a goaltender, didn't even want to play out, and then all of a sudden he played out one game, and he has just become uh, a big force outside of the net. Outside of the net, he is dominating the game, putting the ball in the net, setting up plays, doing everything, and um, hopefully he can keep this going, because he is uh, he's a strong player who is going to look to have success. So, uh, we don't really know what to give him if it's time for him to step up or a BAM, so we just go, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, so let's move to, let's move to Greg McMillan. Uh, Greg McMillan, arguably the best two-way player in this league right now. The guy has just got energy that keeps him going game after game after game. And he just loves to play. I mean, the guy it keeps back-checking, forward-checking. He does everything. And it's no wonder that he's still in top place. Only one week has he not been in a tie or leading the UHL. And he's looking to win the President's Trophy. He's got Kevin Lee right on his tail. He lost last game. So, he has never won, he has never lost two games in a row. So, it's time for him to step up and keep this going. Keep this going and really uh, continue his hot streak. Now, we move into Game 10 of the UHL, and there has been some complaints in the league about, about players continually playing with one another, and this league is supposed to be that you always play with people different. Well, you know, we've, we've started to see a real combination of Lye, Stewart Control, and Greg McMillan on a team, and then a combination of Hardacre, Gradinsky, and Bell on a team, and then Kevin going on to different teams. So there really hasn't been that much difference in teams, and that's why we see such a closeness in the standings. So, you know, moving down the road, we'll look to either game 11 or 12 as uh, a game with set teams. So we can mix up these, uh, mix up these teams and hopefully have a uh, have a great game you know before there wasn't it wasn't really that close in the league in any games and now every game seems to be close the last two games have come right down to the wire with goalies being pulled last second shots it's been a really close uh, affair and uh, we love it in the UHL next game is game 10 at the Kellyan Mall uh, it is Sunday, June 28th at 4.45 p.m. Now, 
looking at the individual standings, uh, as we said earlier, Kevin Lee completely dominating the uh, Maurice Richard Trophy. He's got 38 goals. Next close is Hardacre with 26, and then McMillan with 20. The assists, Hardacre leading with 32, with McMillan at 25, and Riley Bell at 21. And then top points, this is really close. This will be an exciting race to see. Hardacre with 58, Lee with 57, and McMillan with 45. And as we talked about before with Hardacre, you know, he, talking with Commissioner, uh, he really learned, he was talking, and they really learned that, you know, you don't need to always put the ball in the net to have success. So we look for Hardacre to have more of a defensive presence and offensive presence coming down this stretch. Um, so who knows? Maybe Kevin Lee will take advantage of this and win the Art Ross and Maurice Richard because Hardacre is going to um, take a d more defensive stance. And we look at our goaltenders. Uh, you know, we had a battle. We had a battle of the Vesna Trophy candidates between Lai and Gradinsky in Game Eight, and Nicholas Lai came out on top with the win. But we look at it now, and both goalies, Nick and Matt, are both three and one. Uh, Nick with a 6.05 goals against average, while Gradinsky has a 7.88 goals against average. Then uh, Doug McLean with a zero and one record with eight goals against. Edward Dodsworth with a 2-3 and three record with 12 goals against, and Greg Davio with a 1-2-1 one, one record with 12.45 goals against. It has been a great season so far, and we are really looking forward to the end of the season. It is time to step up for a lot of players, and it is time to keep the bands going for everyone else. From the commissioner's desk, this is Commissioner Hardacre thanking you for watching Inside the UHL, and we hope to see you at UHL.